Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Latest data, latest trends. Now it's on to storm number two, and it's a doozy up in the Pacific Northwest. This thing is going to uh, deliver a blizzard to Oregon and Washington in the mountains and the volcanoes. Those higher terrain features are going to see strong winds and heavy precip in the form of feet of snow accumulation with this thing. Um, storm number three, 112 to 115. By the way, wait till you see some of the grand totals. I've got on the map now for Timberline and Mount Bachelor. Uh, storm number three, 112 to 115, is potent with Arctic uh, with an Arctic front. That's really going to be the main feature. The storm will ride that Arctic front and become a focal point. The Wasatch trending up, in fact, way up in some cases. Had to up those numbers. Western and Northwest Colorado also trending up. Again, it really this is being dictated and predicated by where this Arctic front sets up. Um, in the northeast, you've got a powerhouse storm system coming, 19110. It's probably going to end up being a bomb cyclone. Um, it will spread heavy snow from like Chicago north all the way up into the northeast. It, it's going to become a very tightly closed low with high winds, 70 mile an hour winds, probably going to see power outages in the, uh, the northeast. Initially, heavy snow at the onset, but then it changes over to rain, snow mix, and rain at most of the ski areas. Another big storm, 112 to 113, and another one behind that on 116. All right, let's go over to water vapor. First, I want to mark this. Developing major low. That's the one that will move up into the northeast. That was storm number one. Now has moved out of Colorado and out of New Mexico. Um, here's big storm number two. And then behind it, storm number three. Um, this one will crash in to the Pacific Northwest and then down into the interior. Storm three will bring the Arctic front in immediately behind Storm number two. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs. You can see the storm exiting Colorado, New Mexico, out into the heartland. Here comes storm two out of the uh, Pacific Northwest, Canada, Gulf of Alaska. Drops down into the Intermountain with heavy snow. The backside will swing down and hit uh, Tahoe, Shasta, and Mammoth. And here we are by 111 in the afternoon. The storm is mainly centered through Colorado, New Mexico, and will be moving away. You can already look to the Pacific Northwest and see storm number three and the Arctic front. Watch this. Watch the deformation right there along that uh, that Arctic front dropping down. Here it comes. Heavy snow. Look at that. Focal. The focal point is going to be that front, and that's going to focus heavy snow right along that line through southern uh, Idaho. Potentially the Tetons. We'll see, but certainly into the Wasatch, certainly into western and northwest Colorado. Those areas are going to get hammered, and that just runs through 113. Let me show you what it looks like on 114. Um, the storm moves into the interior. More consolidation, heavy snow. Um, here's 115. This is really the tail end of it. Storm's moving out of Colorado, pulling the snow out of Utah and Wyoming. By 116, it's totally gone. Um, here's the jet pattern. So this is 19. You can see the next storm coming into the Pacific Northwest out of Canada and Alaska. Um, look at this. So this is 112. This is uh, where we have a couple of things happening. So you've got the Arctic front coming south with the polar jet. You've got the subtropical jet anchored there as well and a powerful jet flow. So we're squeezing out big totals with this pattern. We're, we're bringing in much colder air that produces higher snow ratios, better snow generation, a lot of efficiency, and a powerful jet flow, a lot of transport. Good aura graphics, like a west-northwest type of flow into the... Uh, through Idaho into the Wasatch and into western and northwest Colorado, which will crank out or graphic snow. Here's 114. This is uh, at the tail end of the event. You can see the trough moving through and out of Colorado, Wyoming, and New Mexico. That'll be the end of storm number three. And just to show you what happens one, one more period, this is 117. High pressure, brief high pressure will build in across the west then potentially there's another drop in pressures after that but that's a long way off all right here's the new grand total map the rest of today through 117 and i'll break this down by period but so the numbers now we're at 60 plus uh, of additional snow in in little cottonwood canyon uh, probably 50 in big and less than that, obviously, up in Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin. But those are just huge numbers. That's on top of what we've already gotten, received. Look at western and northwest Colorado. Assuming we get that uh, Arctic front focal point, um, then we'll get uh, two, three, four feet of snow in those areas, um, which, will be, uh, which will be pretty amazing. 
and very cold air. This will be cold smoke powder. Uh, a couple of feet or more up there in the Tetons. Um, central to northern Idaho, very rich flow up there. Northwest Montana. And look at the numbers through Oregon. Timberline and Bachelor in the 90-inch range out of this thing. This is incredible to see that in one to two feet for um, the Sierra. Zooming in on the central to northern mountains of Colorado, there's your I-70 corridor, so about two feet um, for most places, maybe three feet. You can see potentially four feet up around Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. That's that direct line right where we're going to see that focus with that Arctic front. All right, let's break it down by period. So this is the rest of today through 111. This accounts for storm number two coming into the Pacific Northwest. Again, anything in the purple magenta is a foot or more, and that's a lot of places. I think during this period, we could see one to two feet in the Wasatch, about a foot up in the Tetons, and probably six to 10, six to 12 in Colorado. Now, here's the big period. 112 through 117. This is the third storm system. The Arctic front will help to focus the snow, looking at 40 inches or more at Alta and Snowbird. 40 or more. It's, it could be more. In western and northwest Colorado, uh, another two feet of snow and during that period. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you, you could see almost 50 inches during this period up at Bachelor and Timberline. Heavy snow running down through parts of uh, uh, parts of Idaho and then into the Tetons as this front slips on by. So again, that's the second period, 112 through 117. Let's go to the northeast. Powerful storm 19, 110, another one 112, 113, and potentially one on 116. It's those two later storms where we're probably going to see most of the accumulation here, uh, but all these numbers have gone up. Look at Snow Ridge now, at 30, at three feet of snow basically. Um, about two feet, maybe three feet in, in the big ski areas of Vermont, New Hampshire, and maybe four feet over Mount Washington. Guys, that's going to do it for this update. We'll end on the grand total map. Again, this accounts for storm two and storm number three with big totals ahead. Thanks for tuning in here, guys, and take care.